Now, most of us associate malnutrition with developing countries or times of hardship, like during World War II. But in fact, up to three million people in Britain today are considered to be malnourished or at risk of it. All age groups are affected, particularly though the elderly. Dr. Sarah Jarvis is a GP in West London, joins us. Hello, Sarah. Nice Hello. to see you back on the programme. When we say malnutrition, what exactly do we mean? Well, one of the big problems is that people tend to associate it with, you know, starving figures and ribs mm. jutting out and all the rest of it. And there is an element of that. But unfortunately, in our Western society, it is possible if you start off with quite a lot of padding, shall we say, but you lose a lot of weight because you're unwell for some reason. And this is particularly people who are maybe chronically unwell or who've had an acute illness so they've been in hospital. Then you can lose essential vitamins and minerals and be really at risk of complications of not healing properly, of getting complications of illnesses you've already got without looking skinny and that's part of the issue. Mm. And the survey suggests that people don't really know what malnutrition is when it comes to looking at it in, in the UK. Well quite worryingly of course a lot of GPs we tend to forget because we spend so much of our time worrying about obesity which mm. you know believe me is still a huge problem but we do tend to think that as people for instance get older if they've maybe got Alzheimer's or frailty or Parkinson's disease a lot of these chronic conditions they will lose weight but because it's maybe a gradual process and we're not aware of it happening acutely then we maybe don't pick it up perhaps we're not screening for it do you think it is or could be seen as a bigger problem than perhaps obesity on the NHS because if you go into hospital and you're already malnourished as you say you're much more at risk at picking up infections Absolutely. and not getting better you're 82 percent more likely to go into hospital once you're there you stay longer you die more and it's not just the problem for the NHS it's not just the direct cost we estimate that probably directly it costs as much if not more than obesity but there's also a knock-on cost because when, when you come out if you do come out you're less likely to be able to live independently that's more cost for care homes that's more indirect cost for families who maybe have to stay home and look after somebody so it's a basic message make sure your elderly parents or th th they're eating properly well absolutely and yeah. of course if you don't think they are if they can't get the quantities into them talk to your GP about whether they need supplements something like that Sarah thank you very much Dr Sarah Jones